What's good, everybody? It's your boy JTL, opposite from the norm. Y'all, excuse my video, I don't know exactly where. Um, so, I found another one. I was just scrolling through my stuff and I seen um, this dude, Matt Wash, Walsh, he, he whitewash. <laughs> he talking about how myth, the myth of systemic racism. Uh, I'm, I'm going to get back with a little bit of commentary after he say his bullshit so i want to talk about the idea that america is systemically racist currently systemically racist there's no doubt of course that america was at a time systemically racist just like every country on earth has been at a time <laughs> systemically racist um racism was the rule across the entire country rather across the entire world for thousands of years uh and many countries currently still are systemically racist. The claim from the left is not just that we were systemically racist, but that we are right now today. And that the problem is not just the legacy of slavery or Jim Crow, obvious examples of actual systemic racism, which thankfully are in the past. But the claim is that there is still systemic racism today. And that is, an, it is, in fact, an extremely significant problem. And it's so significant that, as Ilhan Omar said, we played the video a few days ago, we have to dismantle our whole economy and political system and society to rid ourselves of it. The question, though, is whether there's evidence for this current scourge called systemic racism. I know evidence is treated as a, as a mere technicality these days, but it really does matter. Because evidence is all about you, you, you believe something. Well, when I ask for evidence of, of that belief, that's not a technicality. It's not splitting hairs. It's not being pedantic. What I'm really saying is, oh, why do you believe that? Do you have a reason? If you have no evidence, then that means you have literally no reason to believe what you believe. Which means you shouldn't believe it if there's no reason to. Now, remember, the fact that black Americans, as a percentage, suffer more from poverty, crime, and so on, um, is not itself proof of systemic racism, because those are the things that systemic racism is supposed to explain. So in other words, we see the struggles faced by the black community. Everyone sees them. There's no denying that. The question is, why are those things happening? And the explanation we're given is systemic racism. Which means that to prove systemic racism, to prove that it's true, you need to do something other than simply point back to the things you're explaining. It's the same with police shootings. Okay, there's 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 no doubt that. A okay, uh, I'm gonna cut it off. If y'all want to go check out the whole video, y'all can. He, he take a little time to get into it. All right, so he's saying there's no systemic racism going on. Later on in the video, or maybe two minutes later from him kind of ranting right now. He says that even if there is systemic racism, it's pretty low. Um, the thing that we got to understand when it comes to systemic racism is a system of people who uh, set up something that counteracts the progression of people, a group of people, you know what I'm saying, based on race. So he says there's no systemic racism. Y'all seen I did a video with Ben Shapiro saying the same thing. But this is the problem I have because their counterpart conservative buddies like uh, Candace Owens, Brandon Tatum, uh, Kingface, and so on. They say that the Democrats, right? Y'all can look this up. I was about to add in my video, but it's getting it's early in the morning. I'm tired. So I'm going to just do this real quick. But y'all can look this up. They always say that the Democrats are racist. They the one. They are the ones who did the 94 crime bill that hurt black people. They're the one that did the the um, pro-choice where about abortions. And it, is, it affects black people the most because black people, um, black women aborted about 60 million children. Then they talk about the welfare structure that Democrats put in place and how it keeps the black father out of the home. Uh, you know what I'm saying? All these things that they say. Now, 
Y'all already know. I I say it all the time. If you don't, this is your first time watching it. I say it all the time how I don't trust either one. And the reason why I'm bringing this video up again because of these conservatives. All right. Now explain to me how you say racism is not an issue. Systemic racism is not an issue. But you guys are always saying the left and Democrats are always trying to push the race issue. They're the ones that did this 94 crime bill that affected black men the most. They're the ones that did the pro-choice where women, black women aborted 60 million children. Then you always talk about how they're the ones that keep the father out of the home, blase squads. So if there's no systemic racism, then how are you always saying the Democratic Democrats are the racist one? That sounds like a system that they're calling out for racism towards black people. They're calling out Democrats for always pushing racism. And it only affects black people the most. They're the ones that are talking about racism, the police, and all of that stuff. So systemic racism doesn't exist. And why do you always try to call out the Democrats for it? Then it should then y'all should not even say that. Just say their policies suck. Y'all shouldn't even be talking about black people when it comes to Democrats. Y'all should just say Democrats across the board just sucks. Just don't follow Democrat spirit. But they always bring up racism, man. Like I said, y'all can look that up if you want to. Because it, she says it all the time. Her, King Face, Brandon Tatum, you know, all these black, young black conservatives. Um, the, the, the one black lady in Atlanta now, um... I think her name is Angela Stanton, Angela King Stanton, if I'm not mistaken. So you got all these black conservatives that are saying the narrative, pushing the narrative that Democrats are the real racist ones. They're the ones that's doing stuff systemically to destroy the black family. But systematic, systemic racism doesn't exist, but y'all, unless y'all saying Democrats are the ones that do it. Y'all can do y'all own research. I can't make this shit up. Y'all can do y'all own research. They are the ones who always say that. That Democrats are racist ones and they're destroying the black family. So that sounds like systemic racism to me. So this is bullshit. Y'all got to watch out. Like I said, I don't fuck with neither one. Y'all have to watch out. Like Dick Gregory said, God rest so. Bye bye, Gregory said. It's a game. Y'all got to learn the peak game. Like I said, for my people, we need to learn how to come together and do our own thing. You know what I'm saying? Or at least just stop fucking with fake motherfuckers. At least just stop doing that. Stop supporting the fake motherfuckers. At least doing that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like my brother John uh, John Horse from the Straight To It podcast family say, man, live your life, live your truth. Just lead the game, then lead the game, man. Fuck the game, lead the stadium. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like Loki say, just lead the stadium. You know what I'm saying? But we can't keep falling for this bullshit, man. That's why I say don't fuck with none of them. And we ain't talking about fucking with each other, then fuck all of them. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, y'all can look this video up. Then y'all can look up what Candace Owens says. Y'all can look up what King Face says. Y'all can look up what Angela Stanton King says. Y'all can look up what Brandon Tatum says. You can look up what Larry Elder say. All these people that are talking about the Democrats are the racist ones. And they fucked up the black families. But no systemic racism exists in this country. If you say so. This your boy JTL opposite from the north. I got to take me a nap before I do some more work. <laughs> I got to get back to it. So I'll fuck with y'all later, man. You know how it is. Make sure you like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe. This is your first time checking out Out Front of Norm.